Hi guys! Welcome or welcome back to the Panda Vlogs and for today's video, as you can see from the title, I'm gonna do a USA haul. But before we start, don't forget to click the subscribe button and click the bell button right beside it so that you will be notified every time that I post. Let's get started. If you've been following me on Instagram, which is at Maxino, then you know that I went to the States because I've been posting some pictures. And also, if you've been subscribed to my channel, then you might have seen the USA Vlogs already, but if not, then go check it out. I would also link some of the videos down in the description box below. So let's start now. First thing that I have here is this oversized na denim jacket. It's actually black. And it's just plain oversized na denim jacket. I got this from Urban Outfitters. It's in the brand. It's the brand BDG. Right there. I got this in the size medium. Kasi yung small, parang sakto lang. And then yung medium, yung parang oversized na. And one thing that I like about this as well is black din yung buttons niya. Hindi siya silver. So, ayun. Actually, si Ken yung pumili nito. Kasi I told her na I'm looking for one. And then she found this habang nasa Urban Outfitters kami. Right there. The next thing that I got is actually from Urban Outfitters as well. And same brand lang sila. It's BDG right there. And it's actually a skirt. Medyo uso yung ganitong skirt. Yung parang kita mo yung lining niya na white. Kasi meron din ako nakita sa Forever 21 na ganito. And then, I think IMG ya. Yung parang medyo mahal na brand. Wala siyang zippers, just buttons. And then, ito yung sa taas. Parang siyang may belt na this side. And I got this on sale actually. I think it was around like 50% off because it's in the sales section. And then another thing that I got from Urban Outfitters is this guest shirt. And daming pumipili and then a guest shirt. Pero parang ito talaga yung nag-strike ng attention sa akin kasi sobrang colorful niya and it has yellow. And I think wala pa akong ganitong shirt kasi sobrang colorful niya talaga. And mostly kasi yung binibili ko, plain lang like this, ganyan, solid colors lang. Hindi ako mahilig sa madaming patterns recently. So, nung nakita ko ito, parang sabi ko, maganda siya kasi magmamatch siya sa mga binibili ko recently. Kasi nga, puro plain lang siya patulad nun. Yung skirt, plain lang siya. And the jacket, ganyan. So, this is actually for men. Madami ko binili na shirt for men. Kasi I feel like mas maganda siya kasi... Um, mas oversized siya and then mas mas sarap yung feeling ng tela. Parang mas malambot siya. Hindi siya, I don't know. Basta, ewan ko, basta mas mahilig ako sa men's shirt. So, so, Urban Outfitters ko din pala to I got this, I got this in the size small, pero medyo malaki pa rin siya sa akin. And I also got this champion na uh, hoodie. This one, I think, is from the women section. Kasi pag sa men, sobrang, sobrang oversized naman niya. Yeah, I think this is from the girl section. I got it in the size small and I just wanted something na plain and then I can um, throw it on anytime kasi may hood siya. So, pag umuulan, ganyan, okay lang siya. And um, it has champion on both sleeves. Wala kasi akong makita na plain lang. I don't know if may available pa na ganun kasi dati natitingin ako online, merong available. Pero doon sa Urban Outfitters na pinuntahan ko sa Pacific Beach at wala. So, I just got this instead. And then, nung pumunta ko sa Fashion Valley, wala rin. So, buti na lang, binili ko na to kasi wala naman pala talaga. And Ken Ken got me this STSU na champion shirt because she studies in STSU. So, ayan, she got me this one. And then, the next items that I have are from Brandy Melville. The first one is this um, parang shirt lang that says Los Angeles. It is actually not a Brandy Melville brand. It's called John Galt. Pero sabi ng cousin ko, si Kang, same lang daw yun. Kasi parang under ata nila yung John Galt or something. Ayan, it's just plain. And gusto ko lang yung parang statement shirt. It says Los Angeles. And then I also have this one. I actually wore this already. Dapat hindi pa. This is actually Brandy Melville talaga. And it's just sobrang soft. Kaya siya binilin. I like the color blue. So, ayan. And that hindi ko pa ito susotin. Kasi meron 
ako actually naka-prepare na na damit for my dad's birthday. But then my mom said, magbublo kami. So, ayun, buti na lang nabili ko to. I think the night before his birthday or two nights before his birthday. So, ayun. Suot ko na siya. And is this parang um, long sleeve top. Ayun, medyo, hindi siya sobrang crop top. Pero medyo nasa like waist area mo na siya. Kasi hindi siya long. Hindi siya katulad ng oversized hoodie na nabili ko kanina. So, ayan. Plain lang siya na stripe. Then, sobrang lambot niya. Yun yung gusto ko sa Brandy Melville kasi sobrang lalambot ng items nila. The only problem with Brandy Melville is that lahat ng items nila free size. So, walang size. So, mahirap kasi, you know, hindi naman ako sexy. So, ayan. Buti na lang. May mga items sila na nagkakasya, ganyan. And, malambot talaga yung tela nila and sobrang stretchy. So, the next things that I will show you are from Tommy Hilfiger. So the first thing that I have is this plain shirt na may logo lang ng Tommy Hilfiger dito sa side. And I just got a plain white shirt kasi yung mga plain white shirt ko na from Top Man and Forever 21. Medyo nag-yellowish na sila kasi medyo matagal na sila. Excuse me. And medyo manipis. Pero this one, it has um, parang medyo thick. Pero, hindi sobrang thick na magiging mainit na. What I have is the same one. Pero, it's in the color blue. Hindi ko ma-explain yung color niya. Pero, nakikita niya naman sa camera kung ano yung color niya. And then, I also got this one for Michael. Gray lang siya. Ang um, sweater. Ayan. Meron lang siyang parang yung um, colors ng Tommy Hilfiger sa side. And then, it says here Hilfiger sa front. Embossed siya. Ayan. Then, ito. So, ayan. Maganda siya actually. And then, I'm planning to wear this on Christmas kasi we're planning to go to Taiwan. The next thing that I have is this Filana shirt. Actually, hinahanap ko siya sa Urban Outfitters kasi nakita ko siya sa website ng Urban Outfitters pero wala sila. Meron silang ganito na jacket pero hindi ko siya gusto kasi ang dami ko nang nabili na parang jacket and madami na akong jacket here sa bahay. Gusto ko lang like mga plain shirts and stuff. So, I got this, I think, foot locker ata yun. Kasi parang siyang shoe area, ganyan. Tapos meron dito, kikater din sila ng mga clothes ng Villa, Champion, and stuff like that. So, ayan. Sobrang ganda kasi ng color, diba? And sobrang iba siya. Like, I haven't seen any Villa na ganito or any other shirt na ganito yung color. The next thing that I have, I think this is from parang kids foot locker siya. Kasi nagahanap kami ng champion for my cousins and kay Jare. Naterno-terno sila. So, doon meron. And then, my mom said na feeling niya, kasha sa akin yung pang kids. Yung pinakamalaki na pang kids. Kasi, nasa states naman kami, diba? So, kasha nga siya. And, parang salmon pink. Hindi ko alam, pero sobrang vibrant niya sa camera. Pero, in person, parang muted lang siya na salmon pink. So, ayan. And guys, if so, tingin nyo, kasha sa inyo yung kids. Kasi sa akin, kasha na yung extra large ng kids. So, what more sa inyo? Especially, if payat kayo, ganyan. Kasi mas mura siya. This one is only $25. And I think, pag like yung champion talaga na for adult, I think, mga $29. Sa Paxan, umabot ng $35. Actually, nagdidepensya na kung saan mo siya bibili. Kasi mas mahal sa Paxan. So, Urban Outfitters, Tsaka sa mga Zoomy, same-same lang. Mga $29. Ganyan. Kasi si Dave nagpabili. Around $29.95 yung isang shirt. And then, I also got another fila. This is actually from Zoomies. Medyo, hindi actually siya crop. Pero medyo crop top din siya. Parang yung jacket. This is from the brand Rip and Lip. Ayan. Cute na lang. And then, meron dito. Hindi ko na i-open yung pocket ko sa'yo naka-bad finger siya. So, ayan. Ang cute niya lang kasi yellow siya dito. And then, yun nga. Mahilig ako sa yellow, obviously. Then, I got bras from um, Pink by Victoria's Secret. And then, I also got um, panties right there. Ayan. Kasi nagkaroon sila ng sale nung pumunta kami. It was 10 for $35. So, ayan. And then, I got this Adilet. Uh, I think it's called Adilet na slippers from Adidas. Ayan. Meron ng ganito si Mikael before. And I got this in the size 7 na pang lalaki. So, wala akong makita na pang babae. 
And pag tinatry ko yun, sobrang lambot. Kaya sabi ko, gusto ko din ng ganun. Kasi nga, sobrang lambot na sa paa. And, ayun, sobrang lambot na sa paa. So, if you're looking for slides, try the Adelaide ones. Meron siya sa Philippines kasi yung kay Michael. Sa Philippines yun binili. But it's in color gray. I got mine in black. And it was on sale. $19 ko lang siya nabili. And it was originally $30 something dollars. Now let's move on to the makeup related items. And the first thing that I have here is this makeup bag from Marc Jacobs. Very plain lang siya na black. And malaki siya. Parang kasha yung ball pen dito. Ayan. So, ayan. I just got this. I chose black para mag... Um, Parang pwede siya sa lahat ng bags ko, diba? And kahit sa school, pwede siyang gamitin. Kasi hindi siya um, mahirap bagayan. And parang kahit ilagay mo lang, okay lang. Kasi black siya. And I think pwede siyang labahan in case na, you know, pag makeup kasi medyo madumi talaga siya. Especially for powders and creams. And then, I also got this bag from Tommy Hilfiger. Um, actually, yung laman nito, if you've been um, following me on Twitter, then you know my tweet na... Nandito yung pinamili ni Mommy na Urban Decay Palettes and Lorac na palettes na yan. Pasalubong na yan. So, hindi ko muna magamit yung bag kasi nga nandito pa yung mga pinamili niya. Let's move on to Sephora. So, I think it was my last night na noon. It is Saturday night nung pumunta kami sa Sephora ni Tito Wen sa Cerritos. Kasi I've been looking for this one. And wala siya sa Ulta. Meron lang siya sa Sephora. So, I got this one. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Oil Free Matte. Sobrang hamarang pangalan niya. This one. I got this in the shade medium. Meron ako nung original na to. Yung, I mean, not, in, not that this is fake. I mean, yung original, yung first nila nalabas na ganito. Yung, I think it was gray. Pero hindi ko siya masyadong nagustuhan. I mean, nagustuhan ko siya at first. But then, kailangan ko mag-blot every time. And it doesn't have that much cover that much coverage. Kasi nga, parang ano lang siya, CC cream. Pero this one has full coverage. It has poreless finish. And then, it has the benefit of like skincare, then anti-aging, SPF, ganyan. And it also has hydrating serum. Ayun. Pero, sobrang ganda niya. I'm using it on my skin. Pero, tinry ko na ito kahapon. And hindi ako sobra-sobrang nag-oily, unlike pag wala akong gamit. Pero medyo nakakontrol na naman yung oiliness ko. And nakukover niya yung pimple spots ko ng medyo on ilang. I still have to use concealer. Pero I love that it is a CC cream. Yun nga, kasi pag CC cream, di ba, may skincare benefits na siya. So I love this so much. I'd let you know if this becomes my favorite. And then I also got this one. This is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. Ayan. I got this in a travel size. Kasi pangalawang primer ko na to. Bumili pa ako ng isa. Pero, I wanted to try this one as well. Kung ano yung mas maganda sa kanila, then yun yung bibili ko ng full size. Ayan. And then, I also got this Cover FX Pressed Mineral Foundation. Ayan. So, I've been looking for a mineral foundation na pwede sa oily skin. Kasi yung MAC, parang I don't know, parang hindi ko na masyado nagugustan yung brand na MAC ngayon. I'm not so sure why. So, ayan. I got this. And I got this in the shade N30. And I got small na prep and prime na MAC. Gusto ko lang siya itry kasi nakita ko lang siya sa Nordstrom. I think it was just $12. So, bumili na ako ng dalawa. And then, ito yung sinasabi kong primer na binili ko. This is Smashbox. Yung color purple nila. Photo Finish Minimized Pores. Ayan. Nars Little Fetishes. Ang weird talaga nila ang pangalan. So, I have the shade Dolce Vita, which is a blush. And Capri, which is a highlighting powder. For me kasi, nung tinry ko yung orgasm nila ng shade, parang sobrang light na sa akin. I mean, hindi ako mahilig sa ganong blush. So, nung nakita ko to, sabi ko, parang mas okay to. And, by the way guys, travel size to. Kasi hindi ko, hindi ko maubos yung blush. I mean, never pa ako nang paubos ng blush or highlighting powder. So, this is the shade Dolce Vita. Ayan. Diba? Ang cute niya. Sobrang liit. Kasi parang perfect for everyday. Perfect pang um, pagdadalin mo siya. Pang travel, ganyan. Ayan. May mirror pa siya. So, sobrang ganda. 
Ang ganda ng mirror niya, guys. Hindi siya yung parang cheap quality ng mirror. So, it's Nars. And then, I also got this Capri, which is the highlighting powder. Ayan. Parang siyang champagne pink. Not champagne gold. Parang siyang champagne pink. It's not that uh, uh, blinding, which is good because uh, this is perfect for everyday lang. And then I got this Real Technique Sponge. Apat siya. I'm looking for the big one because I think it's like when it's close to Christmas, they release it with so many sponge. But it's not. So I just got this one instead because it's the most popular one in the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Medium because it's almost done with me. And then I also got this one Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C10. Medyo ako same siya ng um, shade ko talaga. So ginagamit ko siya for areas na kailangan ko lagyan ng concealer. Like dark spots, ganyan pimple. Hindi ko siya pwede gamit. Well, pwede naman pero hindi siya ganun nakaka-highlight. Kanaya sa eye bags din. Hindi siya ganun kaganda for the eye bags. This Lip Injection Extreme Extreme from Too Faced. And kasi parang gusto ko like pulpy lips. So, madama ko nakita ng reviews na parang nag-work nga daw siya. It's instant and long-term lip plumper. So, I kind of want to try this one. But this is only the travel size, I think. Nakita ko lang to sa counter, actually. Kasi hindi ko siya nakita sa Too Faced. So, ayan. I'll let you know if this one would work. Oops. Actually, hindi ko ang uh, alam kung paano siya gamitin. I have to read more about this. Lancome Skin Feels Good Octinoxate Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 23 Hydrating Skin Tint Healthy Glow. So, this is actually okay then for um, oily skin because it is oil-free and it's paraben-free. It has hyaluronic acid which is good for pimples then and you know, oily skin. So, ayan. I got this first kasi nga sabi ko, hala, hindi, baka hindi ko na mabili yung CC cream. So, sabi nila, maganda din daw to. And, tingnan siya sa face ko. Maganda nga talaga siya. And, it, it feels nothing. Kasi yung yung CC cream ko na It Cosmetics, this one. Mararamdaman mo ma, na meron kang nasa face mo. Pero, hindi siya ganun ka-heavy. But, this one, parang wala talaga. Kasi, parang siyang watery lang. And then, the next thing that I have is this Morphe M501 na brush. So, I'm planning to use this sa under eye area ko pag naglalagay, naglalagay ako ng powder. Especially when baking kasi wala akong powder na parang maliit for this area. The last thing that I got from Ulta for myself are these e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. So, if you've been following me on Instagram, then you know na Parang tatlo yung binili ko and then my mom got a lot kasi meron din ata sa Old Navy. So, kasi sa Old Navy siya pumunta nun. So yun, binili na din ako ng sobrang dami. So ayun, now I have stocks. And I think this is the last na papakita ko sa inyo. This is the brand Morphe and I didn't know na meron na sila sa Fashion Valley. So sobrang saya ko nung meron na sila doon kasi finally I don't have to order online anymore. So this is an eyeshadow palette. It's it says 3B. This is a pure nude. I I don't know yet. Kung sa akin to ibibigay. Man, I got brushes and they're actually like in this gold area. Na sobrang nakaka-attract. So, parang ito yata yung mga bestseller nila. So this one is the Morphe Y14. And I got this for highlighting. Wait, I'm gonna show you. Di ba ang ganda niya? Tower ng muna and it's gold. This is called Y6 and I know you've seen a lot of um, makeup bloggers who use this. This is like their buffing brush and sobrang lambot niya and they use this for foundation, ganyan. I think it was Manny MUA, Breckman Rock na nag-rib nito. Kasi sobrang dami nag-rib nito and sobrang dense talaga niya and sobrang soft niya. So, I'm so excited to use this one. I almost forgot about this one. This is the DIY Neon sign from Urban Outfitters. I got it in the color Neon Blue and it's actually 9.8 feet. So, hindi ko siya natatry gamitin kasi wala ako ng parang sa, parang ganito. Yeah. 
that is basically everything. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to click the like button and comment down below kung ano yung favorite item nyo sa haul na to. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click the bell button right beside it so that you will be notified every time that I post. And God bless you.